We are here on Taco About Real Estate on Taco Tuesday with Team House and my bestie Angela over here. And I am going to introduce you to Tanya Murray with New American Funding. And she's going to talk to us a little bit about interest rates. So I'm here with Tanya Murray with New American Funding. And I just wanted to talk to her a little bit about some of the things that are coming up right now, especially with interest rates rising. and. You are the perfect person to tell me or tell our viewers how to eliminate some of the stress that's coming with what the you know mark, the market is saying. So I think that the first thing is really education. Um, we've been uh, so used to the interest rates being so low for the last two years that they're really stuck on the number instead of the payment and it doesn't really make that big of a difference on the payment. So it's really about educating the buyer, letting them know what the options are, going through the different scenarios because it doesn't make that big of a difference and still a five and a half, six and a half is a really good interest rate. So it's still a really good time to So did we get spoiled during COVID? Is that what happened and everybody wants that 3.75 interest rate? Yeah, and it's not sustainable. It just depends on what the economy is doing. So even if the rate is in the fives or in the sixes, um, affordability, making sure that they're okay with the payment and not really focused on the interest rate, I think that that's really important. So what if the rates drop um, and they've been in their house for like two months? How long do they have to wait till they refinance? They don't have to wait uh, to refinance. Usually the rule of thumb is for them to save at least 1% in interest rate before it's worth it for them to refinance because of all of the closing costs that are involved. Is there another, is there another like down payment that they have to do or how to refinance rates It just work? depends on what type of fine, uh, refinance they're doing. It depends if, uh, on the equity that's involved. I mean, we go through and go do a full analysis to make sure that it's worth it for the buyer to refinance or to keep the loan. Okay. And what about buying down your rates? So that really depends on how long are they going to stay in the property. Statistically speaking, people only keep their mortgages for five to seven years, and so it just really depends. Are you going to really want to invest two thousand, three thousand dollars for a fifty dollars saving? Uh, so if they're going to keep the house for thirty years, then thirty years times fifty makes it makes it worth it. But if they're only going to keep the house five to seven years, or if rates go down and they refinance, it's not worth it. I think liquid money is worth it. Okay. Um, one of the questions or that come up with some buyers is that they want to wait to buy until the interest rates drop. Um, my response to them is that the longer they wait, the value of their home is actually going to start increasing. So in a year from now, the house that was maybe 250000 might be 260, 270,000, and now they're paying more. Would you agree with that? Yes, that, and real estate is always gonna be a good investment. I mean, that's really like the best way to invest, other than, you know, that's one of the biggest ways to invest. So uh, regardless of what the rates are doing, if you're renting, you're paying 100% interest anyway, because it's not yours. So, and if you're buying, if the rates are under seven and a half, eight percent 8%, it's still, so one thing that I like to say is um, the interest that you pay on your primary residence, you get a tax credit for it when you file your tax return. So when you take even that tax credit into consideration of your rate under 8%, it's a really good taxable like opportunity. Okay, well, um, I think we're done. And so if you have any questions, you can reach out to any of the team and obviously reach out to Tanya. She's great with helping with all those questions, especially for first-time home buyers. And we look forward to hearing from you. Bye.